I've been thinking a lot recently about the resources we share, why we share them, and who we get them from, especially when we're navigating cultural institutions, educational institutions, especially educations of higher um, institutions of higher education. Um, and I realized that gossip is one of the lowest forms of information generation and like reproduction. And not that gossip, you don't get information from gossip, but like the information that like people like us need in those institutions is less likely and less often information about who's married to who, what the person's race and gender is, etc. The information that we most, people think that means certain things and sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. The information that we really need is how to navigate certain toxic people, how to navigate certain um, dynamics, like what are the politics of X, Y, and Z in this sort of um, you know, situation. So for me, a good example is like when I was in the academy, what are the politics of switching an advisor? Who knew someone could get offended for something that seems simple if the person isn't doing their job, right? So it's so important that we have people who are mentors and, you know, peers and, you know, even people who are lower ranked than us within these fucked up fictive hierarchies to ultimately be honest with us um, in terms of the information they share and to share what we really need and the information we really need, right? Over, you know, minute details of people's like personal private lives, we need information about how to navigate these institutions. Unfortunately, sometimes how to survive them. And we need those people who are gonna show up and give us references and recommendations and the people who are gonna like really be there for us when like shit hits the fan, the people who can, you know, support us emotionally, mentally, financially, et cetera, right? In all the ways. Those are the people that we need um, within these institutions, the people who put their money, right? Their currency, their power, et cetera, where their mouth is. And I'm learning that um, as I'm really starting to experience like real care. I'm learning that, you know, and I don't mean love, but I think what I'm learning about experiencing care is like, wow, like this is care. Wow, this is coalition. Wow, this is community building. Um, this is what it looks like to be supported um, when you are a marginalized person within any sort of institution. And so I'm just here to tell you that, yeah, always think about who's telling you what, the information they're giving you, because it tells you a lot about how people perceive you, right? How they perceive your ability to um, to hold the truth, to um, reckon with the truth, and your ability to, to be present with the truth. Because the truth often hurts. The truth is not for the faint at heart. And for a lot of people, people don't share the truth with the people they perceive to be weak, beneath them, etc. So always think about who's feeding you illusions, delusions, and really go with the people who are really out here with you at your reality and who are feeding you reality. Be open, keep your mind open, and keep your eyes open to the people who have your back.